So, okay, so tonight we're going to be looking at a very uh, important topic, and that is uh, psychological levels. Trade smarter, not harder. Discover the power of psychological level in Forex. Uh, we, 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 we we're hoping more people will join us in a matter of a few minutes. I've sent out the reminder. Now, if you know anyone that should be a part of this training, you can also kindly forward the notification to them so that they can just uh, quickly join us. We're looking at uh, like two topics we're looking at tonight as we are gradually rounding up the training session, this uh, six-week boot camp. We're just seven on board. I want more people to join before I get started. If you can hit like 10, then uh, we'll start. All right. Okay, we're eight. That's good. And I get about two other people to join us. Okay, I think we should just get started. I think others will join along the way. And besides, the video is going to be available on our YouTube channel, so you can always watch at your own uh, convenience. Trade smarter, not other. Discover the power of psychological level in Forex trading. Now, the psychological level is one important concept. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Michael. Good evening, Macaulay. Good evening, uh, Ozumba, Sarah, Ayola, and every other person on the platform. You're welcome to this bootcamp session tonight. Today is uh, Friday. Uh, I think the 14th, the 13th of September, 2024, and it's just uh, past 7, you know, p.m. Good. We're now 10 in number. You're welcome, Ashake Reeves. You're welcome. All right. So we're looking at psychological levels in trading. Now, this is one important topic that we should know as traders because it may just give you the edge you need in this Forex market. So we say, what are psychological levels? Psychological levels often referred to as psych levels are specific price levels in the forest market that are not only significant from a technical standpoint, but also hold considerable psychological importance. These levels are typically round numbers or price points that traders, big banks, and investors pay close attention to because price often reverses at this point. Common psychological levels include all numbers like 1.1000, 1 1.2000, 1 and 1.5000. Now, what we're trying to say is this. There are certain price levels that, you know, the market often react to. For example, when our exchange rate in Nigeria got to 2000 naira per dollar, what happened at that point? There was a reversal in price. The price dropped drastically from 2,000 naira per dollar to 1,100 naira per dollar. Why? Why Why did that happen? Because that level is a psychological level. If you remember at the time when the exchange rate got to 2,000 naira per dollar, there were already projections that the next level would be 3,000 naira per dollar and 5,000 naira per dollar. Why were people projecting 3,000, 5,000? Because those levels are round numbers, psychological levels. And that's the way it works generally in the Forex market. There are specific price points that are psychological levels, typically round numbers where price can reverse anytime price gets to those levels. And big organizations, banks, you know, uh, investment firms, hedge fund management companies, they also pay a lot of attention to these levels because reversal could occur and that can give you an opportunity to take trades around that level. So here is a, it's an example. You can see on this uh, diagram you have on the screen, this chart here, you can see this is a chart of New Zealand JPY on four hour. And there was a reversal. The moment the price got to 88.000, you can see there was a reaction there. And uh, 
you know, there was a reversal. Price reversed drastically. There was a drastic decline when price got to this level. That's why sometimes you say you take a trade and suddenly the price reversed and you don't know what happened. It could be that price hit a psychological level and from there, a reversal occurred. So how do you identify psychological levels? Number one is by using round numbers. The most common psychological levels are round numbers. Traders often place buy or sell orders at these levels, leading to increased trading activity. Number two, previous highs and lows. Price points that previously acted as significant highs or lows can become psychological, psychological levels when revisited. Number three, Fibonacci retracement levels. Some traders use Fibonacci retracement levels, such as uh, 50% and 61% FIB levels as psychological levels. Number four, we have moving averages. Exponential moving averages, like the 50 period or 200 period, can serve as psychological levels as well. However, in this training tonight, our focus will be on using round numbers as psychological levels. That is where the focus, others, you can use them at your own, you know, by your own discretion. But the focus tonight is the first point, which is using round numbers as psychological levels. So what are the pros and cons of psychological levels? That is advantages and disadvantages. Number one, the pros, we have high liquidity. Psychological levels tend to attract a large number of traders, leading to increased liquidity and tighter spreads. So you are not the only one that is paying attention to these levels. A lot of traders are also paying attention to these levels, and that could lead to increased liquidity and tighter spreads around those levels. Number two is clear decision points. These levels provide clear points for traders to make buy or sell decisions, leading to potential price reactions. Number three is psychological impact. Human psychology often leads traders to place orders at these levels, reinforcing their significance. So in people's mind, they know a reaction will happen at these levels and that you know, could encourage them to place orders around these levels. So what are the cons, that is the disadvantages? Number one disadvantage of psychological level is overcrowding. Higher concentration of orders at psychological levels can sometimes lead to overcrowding and erratic price movements. Now, like I said, you're not the only one observing these levels, at least from tonight. If you've not been observing it from before now, after this training tonight, I believe you start paying a lot of attention to these levels. So at that point, you're not the only one. A lot of other traders like yourself are also paying attention to these levels, and that can lead to overcrowding and sometimes erratic price movements around these levels. And number two is that it's possible to have false breakouts around these levels. Price can temporarily breach these levels, triggering stop loss orders before reversing direction. And this can result in false breakouts. So it's possible to also have false breakouts around these levels. Using psychological level as support and resistance. Support levels. Now, when a psychological level acts as support, it means that the price tends to bounce off that level when falling, and traders can place buy orders near these levels with stop losses below, anticipating a rebound. Now, you should note that psychological levels can as well act as resistance or support levels. Now, there are times you look on the chart, you're trying to spot a resistance or a support, and you can't find yeah, and you know, you cannot force these things. When it's not there, it's not there. So what you can do at such instance, if you believe price should still hit, you know, a point before reversal, is that you can look out for a psychological level on your chart. And if you cite a psychological level, that psychological level can conveniently replace a resistance or support level. Because whenever price hits it, there's a possibility a reversal may occur at that psychological level. So we've mentioned how you can use psychological level as support level and you can also use it as a resistance level. And thirdly, for confirmation, it's essential to confirm the significance of psychological levels with other technical indicators 
such as trend lines, candlestick patterns, or oscillators to increase the accuracy of trading decisions. Now, it should be noted that even though we expect a reversal around these points, you are not to use the psychological level as a stand-alone tool, meaning you are not to use it as a stand-alone in the sense that don't just say, oh, whenever price gets to a psychological level, you know, if it's acting as a resistance, I'll just place a sell order. Or if it gets at a support, I'll just place a buy order. It's also good to have additional confirmation before you take such trades. And other confirmation may come from other technical indicators, you know, like using trend lines, chart patterns, candlestick patterns, or oscillators to increase the accuracy of your trade. Now, this is an example of using psychological level, you know, with support and resistance. Here on the screen now, we can see a chart where price hit psychological level on Eurocard at 1.50000. And the psychological level is that blue line there. And you can see we have a valid resistance level here. And each time price hit that psychological level, there was a reversal. Here was a massive reversal. Here we have, on the two other instances, minor reversals. But then a reversal is a reversal. And here the psychological level acted as a resistance. And at the lower part here, psychological level again at price 1.30000 acted as a support leading to a bullish breakout. So in just one chart, like you can see on the screen, we've been able to identify psychological level acting both as a resistance and as a support. Improving trading results with psychological level. Number one is risk management. Use technical levels to set stop loss and take profit levels. This helps manage risk and maintain discipline. So you can use your psychological level for your risk management. You can use it to set stop loss orders and possibly take profit order. So maybe you are in a trade, you're in a bullish trade, you know, you can use, if there's a nearby psychological level, that can become your take profit level. It can become your take profit level. So you know that when price hit that level, you know, instead of waiting for price to hit the, 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 the psychological level as a resistance and reverse, you rather make it a take profit level and you are out of the trade. So it can help you in risk management. And number two is price action analysis. Play, pay close attention to how price behaves around psychological levels. Look for signs of reversal and continuation patterns to make informed trading decisions. Now, this is very important. You know, when you find a psychological level, often there's a possibility of a price action around that level. And if you can spot that price action, that can help you to make an informed decision. For example, if you go back to the previous slide, you can clearly see here that when price hit the psychological level right here, a candlestick pattern was formed, a rejection candle was formed. Now that is an additional confirmation of the possibility of a reversal, after which you now have you know, price breakout downwards. So you can use it in combination with price action to enhance your trade and get you know, better results. Number three, combined with other strategies. Now, this is the second time we're emphasizing this. Integrating psychological levels with other trading strategies such as trend analysis or Fibonacci retracement can enhance their effectiveness. Always combine your psychological level with other strategies, with other technical tools, with other indicators to get better results. Number four, stay informed. Keep track of economic events and news releases that can influence market sentiment around psychological levels. This is equally very, very important. It's good to always stay informed, you know, especially as we have fundamental events upcoming. You know, that can help you to also combine your fundamental I and mean, combine your psychological level, you know, to get a good 
uh, decision on what to trade and how to go about trading it. Okay, right on the screen now, we have another example of a psychological label. And here we can see psychological level in combination with chart pattern. Now we can see here a psychological level at 1.00000 on USDCHF, and that's a blue line up there. And as you look at the screen now, there's a formation of a double top pattern where the psychological level acted as a resistance for that double top. And you can see a massive breakout, a retracement a continuation, a retracement, further continuation, all from the fact that price hit the psychological level and formed a double top pattern. So your psychological level can give you a clear... Now, if you had seen a double top ahead, you know, yeah, it, it's possible it works out, but you, if you see it around the psychological level, it gives you a better confirmation that that, you know, chart pattern will work out as you have seen it. If we flip back in the previous example, this is the same psychological level here, which we have mentioned earlier on Eurocard. And this one formed a head and shoulder pattern, which will have led to possibly price even going back to the previous uh, you know, support zone, which is even another psychological level. So if you pay a lot of attention to your charts, now all these things we are teaching you is meant to give you more insight so that when you are analyzing your, your chart, you have more things to look out for, which can give you more profitable trades. In the course of this training, we've taught you things about trend lines, how to train trend lines, trends, you know, uh, bullish trend, bearish trend, support and resistance, candlestick pattern, chart patterns. Now we're teaching you on psychological level. So when you're analyzing the chart, you can use all this information to get better informed trades, you know, as a trader. Um, just a second. Okay. Um, just a minute, please. So we, we've seen how we can combine a psychological level with chart pattern. <clears throat> and here's an instance where the psychological level is acting as uh, a kind of a support for trend continuation. Here, the price was in an uptrend. We have a resistance level here, which is a psychological level at 1.70000. Price broke out above that psychological level, retraced, and dropped again the second time to have that psychological level acting as a support. So we are having a scenario of a resistance level being broken becoming a support and price continuing in the bullish direction. So here the psychological level is acting as a resistance tone support for price to bounce off, you know, in the bullish direction. Also, you can have psychological level, you can combine it, you know, with trend line to trade a breakout. And that is seen in this, you know, diagram you're seeing. You can see psychological level at 1.90000. That's a, uh, on the GBP AUD one hour. And we can see the psychological level price has been, you know, reacting around that level. And it eventually acted as a support because it just drew a trend line and price broke out, retraced. And we can see, you know, a further continuation in the bullish direction, which led to a good trade. So psychological level can act as support. If you cannot find any clear support or resistance, just check. And if you can find support and resistance, and you also have a psychological level that is giving you what is called a confluence, having more than one reason why you believe a price will go in a particular direction. So that gives you more confidence that price will go in your analyzed direction.
And finally, psychological level can also be combined with the Fibonacci tool to get more enhanced, you know, trading results. For example, in this diagram you're seeing on the screen, you have price. There has been a massive downtrend, you know, that led to a rejection candle from where price actually, you know, broke out into the bullish direction. Now, after the breakout, price retraced back to Fibonacci 61.8, which coincidentally is also a psychological level at 1.61000. And what happened from that point, there was a massive bullish breakout of price back to Fibonacci uh, 100.0. So you can, you can play with psychological level strategy with Fibonacci. It can give you very powerful trading opportunities. Okay, I think that should be all tonight on uh, the Fibonacci uh, trading strategy. But that's not all that we have tonight. I'm going to flip over now. Now you're going to take, I will take questions after the next session we're having. It's just 7.30. We still have more time. There's also another topic I want to take now and that is risk management. So we're having a double dose tonight. We just took the class on Fibonacci. If you have any question on Fibonacci, please take note of it. When we finish the class on risk management, you can ask questions on both the Fibonacci class and the risk management. 